A report just out today is critical of the state office and county social services overseeing child abuse and death investigations. State controller audit finding problems with over 600. That's nearly half of all the deadly child abuse and maltreatment cases from 2018 through 2021. Joining us live now, to talk more about it and the report. Tina Kim from the audit team. Tina, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. So what is this audit really saying about the State Office of Children and Family Services, the county social services uh, in their investigations into these types of cases, which do include two years of COVID in there? So, so what the audit really shows is that uh, Children and Family Services has a process to monitor the local social service districts, but that there are opportunities for improvement. You know, one of the things that we found when looking at how they basically um, review and use their, their data is that often they're looking at it by case by case basis. And what we're saying is that perhaps maybe they need to look at the patterns in the data and understand where they can improve the system on a statewide basis. Mm. All right. But we got to ask you about Onondaga County if there are patterns here. Issued 228 citations for issues with investigations into these kinds of cases. That is the most upstate. What is happening here in Central New York? Why so many citations? So really the audit was an audit of Children and Family Services and their monitoring. So it focused less on basically the issues within the county. But, but one of the things that we did note it, that every county basically could basically learn from what's going on statewide because there are patterns that are common across basically all of the counties that that might improve statewide policy that would that would impact each of the local social service districts. So Tina, what what happens now? We have these findings, we have the report. Does it just get laid aside or is there some way to now put this kind of thing the the recommendations that you that you've made in the report into some kind of action? So to their credit, Children and Family Services agreed with the recommendation in the report in 180 days, they will give us a status update about in a year from now, our office will do a follow-up report mm. to ensure that the recommendations were implemented and if they weren't, um, understanding why they were not implemented. And how much does the report look at proactive ways to uh, deal with these issues in homes so uh, there's no need for a death investigation? So I think that, you know, that's where basically like asking them to basically look at what they've learned from their prior investigations. I mean, if you look at the, the fatality investigations, a lot of the issues and the citations that they make are basically related to basically what happens before the fatality mm -hmm. and this is where the opportunity exists if you can if you can see things and deficiencies in investigations that occur before a fatality you can learn from them and potentially put policies in place that can help you basically so that this doesn't happen to another child Tina Kim, a lot to, a lot to go into there. That's, that's all the time we're going to get to tonight, but we'll continue to follow this. We appreciate your time tonight. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me on air.